All right, everybody. Welcome to the to the episode four of the official We Network podcast. I'm your boy Mountain Bear, and I'm here with Shemi Chia, aka Spotman. All right, and uh, today uh, let's talk about the uh, games we've been playing this week. All right. Keyshan, what have you been playing this week? Um, well, I've been playing some Counter Strike um, at college since that we play, you know. Got a few multiplayer games at lunchtime. That's been pretty cool. Um, starting to play Team Fortress 2 again. Uh, that, that game is amazing, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, that, is that it for you? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, also, I've been playing um, some Fallout 3 as well on the PS3. That game is amazing, man. It's great. <laughs> Me, I just got done with a demo of uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma. Really? How was it? It was great. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and the uh, the jiggle the jiggle breast thing. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It's, nice. it's, it's barely noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> I had to zoom in. I was like, hold on a second. What? <laughs> I had no, no, really. I had to zoom in. It's like, is anything happening? <laughs> Anyways. The yeah, end. For the that game. game I- uh, what else? I've been, uh, I just finished that demo both ways. It was really short. And I didn't realize that the, the actual full game is out. <laughs> oh yeah. So I and might. Yeah. I might pick it up when I start building some money. I gotta build my money. Yeah, like I said, broke tober. <laughs> broke tober. <laughs> Which is what we're gonna talk about. And another game I'm playing. Uh, I got back on Left 4 Dead. Seems like my connection's gotten better. Nice. <laughs> nice. So I've been playing Left 4 Dead, getting friends. Things have been getting Have you got some of the new DLC? Say what? Have you got some of the new DLC? Download over on that. Yeah, there's. Uh, so you talking about all the maps and stuff? Yeah, yeah. There's like that's what that that's what makes Left 4 Dead so good on the PC. Unlimited yeah. amount of maps. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> as well as mods. Well, don't forget mods. Oh, you see, you see all see all the stuff that I gotta keep up with on Left 4 Dead. <laughs> anyway, I've been playing Left 4 Dead. It's been getting awesome. Uh, I think I need to tear off of it and uh, get back on my on my Wii games, like mm. uh, No More Heroes or Muramasa. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get down to business. All right. First, uh, do you want you want to start it off? Uh, I might as well. Um, first one, quick story. Um, everybody knows the um, PS3 uh, six-axis controller. Apparently, uh, the third one coming out now, which is essentially, apparently, what it says is Sony PS3 motion controller set for 2010, um, and Sony claims it's more accurate than the Wii motion sensing controller. And all it really is is a dual analog controller which has a better motion sensing controller in it. So, nothing special there. <laughs> the one thing I've noticed about the dual, the, the Dual Shock 3, is that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, it's a nice controller. It's a, it's oh, been the, yeah. <laughs> it's been the same thing ever since the PS One. <laughs> but but, mm. re- but really, it's barely used in the video games. The motion control is barely used in video games at all. Yeah. If you played uh, <coughs> if you played Infamous, you played Infamous before. Uh, no, unfortunately, I haven't. Sorry. Okay, in Infamous, there's a there's an attack called I think a I don't know, like a lightning strike. Thing. Oh yeah. It's the last attack that you get. It's it's a it's a pretty cool attack. Mm-hmm. Basically, you see you summon a big bolt bolt of lightning coming down from the sky, and you get to control where it goes by by moving the 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 six axes. Oh yeah. It's very it's not very precise, but it gets the job done. <laughs> mm. Well, and that's like all, said, that's the only useless. motion that's the only motion control. And That's a bit lame, isn't it? You know, because like <laughs> the Wii motion control actually gets used, but the six axes only gets used rarely. Like I know it's used in Heavenly Sword when you like shoot an arrow and whatnot, but that's about it, really. It's used, so when, I don't you, see the it's point. used when you shoot an arrow. Yeah, when you shoot an arrow, sometimes you can like direct it right into someone's head, which is kind of cool the first few times, but like the arrow's, got a, the, the arrow's got a mind of its own or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know you can use it in Drake's um, fortune, you know, Uncharted 1, but it helps you, like, 
when you um, walk across a, a log, it helps you, um, you know, balance and whatnot. Oh, balance. That mm. makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, it doesn't get used that often, so I don't really see what's the point in putting a, you know, a better motion sensor in it. But uh, I'm like that. I don't know. See, the, the DualShock 3 is neat, but I don't think it deserves the motion controller. I mean, just keep to the regular control. I mean, it'll still work. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. I mean, just wait till the wand comes out. Then you can go heavy on the motion controls. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's kind of um, it's kind of got it's got like a little sensor on the top, hasn't it? And the camera kind of senses the movement, doesn't it? Really, the the prototypes of the wand are retarded looking. <laughs> they need to do Blood away with them. They need to do away with that ball on the top of the thing. It does look a little weird. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else, uh, he Chan? Oh, um, speaking of motion controls on Sony, uh, have you seen the latest prototype for um, well, you know, Blaze PS3 Motion 3D, 3D controller? I do believe I do. I have seen it. Uh, if you guys can see this on the video, it looks exactly like a Wemo and it's made by a third, third party developer in the UK who make a whole lot of useless gadgets like the... Um, like the DS game changer, whatever, <laughs> and um, they're making a wand or Wemo like thing, which looks just like the Wemo, it's except with buttons. Okay, look, I'm gonna pull this thing up and ran it myself. <laughs> uh, this load of crap. <laughs> it even it even has a little little uh person in the back swinging around like it does on the on the Wiimote warning at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Everybody seen that before? It looks just... They, this has got to be a joke. And you look at it from the side, it looks exactly like the Wiimote. It's even got the little trigger at the back as well. It's even got the, yeah, it's even got the trigger. trigger. The only thing different, it has more buttons. Yeah, it has a little grip at the back, but that's about it. I mean, it's got the D-pad on the top, the A button, A button right onto that. And uh, where the uh, home button and plus and minus are, there's like two more buttons. Yeah, and there's some <laughs> lights going on in the middle as well. And yeah, just... they have the home buttons right there in the middle. It says home. <laughs> My god. <laughs> <laughs> there's three this buttons. Uh... <laughs> you, you right, this has to be a joke, because this looks exactly like a Wiimote. <laughs> Like, I don't, I'm know, not who, I don't know who the president of Sony is, but he, he needs to go up to the to the to the CEO of Blaze and slap him. Slap a bitch. <laughs> he must be crazy. You trying to get us in trouble? And they're gonna get sued. <laughs> they're gonna get sued up the ass with this. I mean, as soon as Nintendo sees this, they're gonna be like, "Oh, money time!" <laughs> oh my God. Really, Nintendo? If you're listening to this, sue these bastards right now. Sue, just sue them blind. Uh, okay. Alright, moving on. <laughs> uh, uh, also, uh, yeah, you got something else? Okay. Yeah, i got some Wii news now. Oh. Um, finally, over here in the UK, uh, we've got a price drop for the Wii. Instead of it being $179.99, it's now $139.99. So, if any of you UK listeners are listening, get a Wii. <laughs> I don't know how many don't have a Wii, so yeah. <laughs> Actually, the, the 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 system that's been dominating lately is the PS3. Oh well, yes. Looks like a lot of people have been appreciating that price drop of the PS3. Definitely, and I think it's going to get better as well over the upcoming months because it's you know it's Christmas soon. Yeah, but guess whose sales have been going down? Mm, let me guess. <laughs> Xbox. Well, yeah, their their sales are always going down, but uh, Nintendo sales have been going down too. Oh man. <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll pick up because you know with the new price drop and everything. I mean, we got Over all there. these we got all these games coming out. Oh, the mm, price ha the price drop hasn't been administered yet. Yeah. So, once once that price drop j hits, I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. things will start picking out. And plus, the holidays are coming, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, everyone's gonna get. It's gonna get frantic. Video games yep. are gonna be the thing to get your kids. I got some DS news now, if you'd like. Oh, yes, I would love. EA DS has news. thought. Of, oh, <laughs> yeah. EA has thought of a genius idea to get children how to read. Guess how? How? By charging people forty dollars 